Hi and welcome. I'm super excited about today's spread. Again, today we're going to be doing a little bit of a scrapbook style spread. I wanted to create something in my astrology notebook from Archer and Olive. And this time I'm going to be creating my Myers-Briggs spread. So I'm an INTJ. I don't know about you, but INTJs are interesting. Um, usually, apparently, percentage-wise, not very many women are INTJs. And I'm pretty excited to make something that feels creative and feels really authentically me when I'm creating it. I've been putting together a series of information things about my personality and about my personality traits and goals and things that I would personally like to work on, almost like a personal development plan within my notebook. When I got my star sign Archer and Olive notebook, I was really excited because, you know, who doesn't love something that's personal to you, right? So I thought, well, let me use this notebook to kind of collect all those thoughts and ideas around personality types, career goals, all of those things that are really important to your your, your you. Um, so today we're going to be going through those Myers-Briggs traits. Um, as I go through the process, I'll show you some of the stuff that I've done in the past and hopefully you get a little bit of benefit out of it as well. I'm looking forward to doing this little session with you and let's get started. Today you'll notice something a little different about our sign track playing in the background. We are playing some relaxing music. I'm going to speed up the video and I'm just going to let it play. I don't know to explain what I'm doing. You know I'm making a scrapbook spread of my INTJ personality type. You'll see some watercolor. You'll see some different things in the middle here. But overall, you'll know what's going on. So let's get started and enjoy the relaxing sound of some beautiful rain.
As always, thank you so much for coming along. We look forward to seeing you over on our Instagram and Pinterest and YouTube and Facebook. Leave us a comment below with some of your really cool watercolor tricks.